Kia ora, and welcome to another tutorial from diakinane.com. This tutorial is the first of a series of tutorials relating to AI tools and using them in co-spaces. In this particular tutorial, we're going to be looking at a tool um, mid-journey and we're going to be looking at Skybox from Blockade Labs to create 360 degree spherical images. So let's get right into it. The first tool we're going to be looking at is the Skybox by BlockadeLabs.com. Um, by default, when you come to the website, there's no login, which is a very useful tool. It, you, they show you this desert scene, which is a full 360 degree panorama, and it's generated in AI, so you can scroll around. And we're gonna be using this feature to create our own 360 degree uh, environments to put into co-spaces. So this tool is really useful to use. Um, it's a AI tool, it's prompt based. So down the bottom here is our interface. Again, there's no login. The limitations though are you've got 420 characters to describe your scene. We've uh, got some other options here. We'll go through those in a moment. But over here on the right hand side, you can set your um, style if you like. So you can look at all these different options here, digital painting, realistic, and you can just go through these depending on what you're trying to create. So you've got some options in here. So the next thing you need to think about is what you're going to write um, in here in a 420 character limit. And that means that we can use tools like ChatGPT to write that. Uh, we'll have a look at that in a moment, or you can just think about what you want to say and type it in here and then click on generate. I'm going to use ChatGPT to do that for me, and then I'll post that text into here. I've come across to my ChatGPT account, and I've put in a new prompt down the bottom here, and I've said, you know, describe an old manor house library in 420 characters. I've given it some clues like wooden panelling, plaster ceilings, mullioned windows on one side of the room, velvet curtains, large table, blah, 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 blah. And so now I'm gonna hit the prompt here, click on this, get it to go. So this is what uh, ChatGPT has come up with. Uh, clearly it doesn't understand 420 characters, but let's just check. So I'm going to copy all of this and I'm gonna paste it into an untitled Google Docs, just paste it into here. And I'm going to highlight this, come up to tools, and I'm gonna come up to word count. And it's 752 characters long, so it's done too much. I'm gonna um, um, do this. Uh, Manor House Library take this out because it's describing what I'm doing and I'm just going to try and see if I can reduce this. Now I've trimmed this down um, and I could have just written this straight away uh, into the Skybox app but I, you'll see why I want to keep that description in a moment. This description here I'm going to keep this but I've got this down to 300 and something odd characters. Let's just check this. So let's come across to here back onto word count. Yeah, 345 characters. I'm okay with that so I'm going to copy this I'm gonna take it back to Skybox now, and this time I'm gonna paste it into here. And yeah, I'm well inside, 345 as we know, click on Generate. So what, when I click Generate, I'm gonna decide, well, first of all, let's decide what I want it to be realistic. I'm gonna click on that, I'm gonna click on Generate, um, and let's see what comes up. So the message has been sent to the server, and as it processes it, you'll see a little green bar come along the bottom here. Then this bee pops up and we got our picture. So here we go. I've got a crackling fireplace. I've got some chairs. I said it at night time, I believe. I haven't got night time. Got some candles, got some books, got some fires. Pretty good. <clears throat> Pretty pleased with that. We could make it better. But for the moment, I'm standing in the middle of this room. I can think I can, is there, is there a door there? Let's have a look at the door. Do I have a door? No. Not quite sure how I get into this room with no doors. It's got three fireplaces, <clears throat> so it's not perfect, but uh, there we go. So I'm not quite sure how I got into this room and how I'll get out, but never mind. So now I want to download that. So I'm gonna click on download and it's gonna come down. So let's see what comes up if I look at this and do it through mid journey. Now, while Skybox is good at what it does, let's have a look at what Midjourney can do. I'm going to copy this text I've got here, and I'm just gonna copy this. 
and I'm going to slip across to Mid Journey here. See some of my other creations here. Now, if you haven't got Mid Journey, it's a bit of a process to set up, but let me just show you how it works. A forward slash imagine and then put the prompt in. Now, the important thing is you need to tell it how it, you, the format you want things to be in. So I need to type in here 360 degree V oops, VR raw photo. And then I'm going to put my description in. There it is. And I want to now put in the aspect ratio, which is double dash AR space two to one. And let's see what happens when I do this. So this is what Mid Journey's come up with. As you can see these from these four options here, it's a very different look and feel. I'm going to, I'm not sure which one to choose. I think um, if you look at the tiling here, this one here in the top left is number one. Uh, top right is number two, bottom left is number three, and bottom right is number four. And you can see here U1, U2, U3, U4. I want to, let's just have a look at, I'm not sure which one's going to work best. I think I'm going to try this one here. So I'm going to upscale number one, click on upscale, and that job's going to process. So we'll come back in a moment. Here it is. So it's upscaled now. This is looking very, very different from the one we did in Skybox. I'm going to click on this and I'm going to open in browser. And here it is in the browser. As you can see, it's a very, very different look. I'm going to download this, save the image. And now we're going to, I'll just save this as uh, 360 library. Click save. But it's more of a panelled room with a more like a dining room, isn't it? But never mind, it's a very different look and a different different feel. So this is, um, we're going to compare those two in CoSpaces now. Now I've signed into my uh, CoSpaces account and you'll see from the top right hand corner here, I've, I've got a pro account. So I've got all the features. And if you're logging in with the free account, then a lot of these features will not be available to you. So I would uh, urge you to consider upgrading to pro. I'm going to click on create co-space here and I want to create a 360 degree image click on empty scene and let's have a look and see what's going to happen right first thing I want to do is click on environment down here and I want to upload one of those two pictures I'm going to click on edit and I'm going to choose the 360 degree library oh, let's actually do the downloads Let's go and look for realistic. Realistic old manor, this one here. This is the one we started off. This is the first one we did with the um, no rooms. And you can see it's been downloaded uh, in a two to one aspect ratio. Um, it should tile round, but it might not. We'll click open. Excellent. Now it's open. Let's look at our room. So we've uploaded that picture from uh, Skybox now to CoSpaces. So we can actually do something with it now. And we can go back and if you remember the room, we looked at that and there's our room. Pretty good. Uh, it's it, it does the sphere quite well. We've got plastered ceiling again and no way of getting out. So it could be a nightmare being stuck in the library. Right. So let's add a new scene. I'm going to click on here and we want to create a new scene. Make again, make sure it's an empty 360 degree scene. And in the next tutorial, I'll show you how we can jump between these two and add audio and different bits and pieces. Again, we want to now change the environment. Let's look on this one here. We're going to click on edit again. And this time on the desktop, I want to go to 360 degree library. There's my much more richly um, imagined image. Click open. Let's click play. And so here we are, well, straight away we can see the seam, which is not quite so good when we look at that and the way that the top of the building is organized is not so good. But what's been offered to us to have a look around, if we keep the scene behind us, the seam, sorry, behind us, we've got a much more richly embellished room created in mid journey where we can now start adding content to this, this environment here. And I will show you next in the next tutorial how to add our own 3D objects into this room to embellish 
our story, our journey that we are creating in CoSpaces. Thanks for watching the video. I really appreciate your support. Until the next time, Kaki Tiano.